like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Yo, what is up you guys? This is your boy Vexies coming at you with a video today on my top players and Gears of War. So let's get this started off real fast. These players, I'm putting them into a lot of different categories that I believe that they're best in and that um that could have some effects in game. So first of all, we have best overall. Best overall goes to one and only uh, Explosive. The explosive playing for Optic, winning like 13 championships. He's a very good player. Um, he leads the team while slaying out as, as hard as he does. So you got to give that man respect and props to him. He's definitely the best overall player in the game. Next, we have another Optic member being the best slayer in the game, being mental. Billy has always been one of those talented players, even back in UE and Gal 3 and stuff. But um, he's now won, won the MVP award for Season 1 of Gal, um, Gal 4, and he's actually doing good in that. And he, he's winning championships alongside of Explosive. Next, we have the best anchor. The anchor is the fifth spawn man, the person that usually holds the back of the team. It's always the one uh, that's supporting or holding up very good positions and knowing, like, staying alive and stuff, calling some good strats every now and then. Just just being, like, a, a real good player that you can rely on and, like, a, a real position-type focusing player, which is, um, and that would go to my teammate Drix. I believe he's the best anchor in the game. He does a lot for the team, like, being uh, the only official support player on the roster he does a lot of shooting for us he'd be averaging like 20 30 downs per game that really helps us out having a lot of slayers and stuff so he's like doing it all for his teammates and it takes a lot of being uh selfless to be a good anchor and i believe the marco perfectly falls into that category um next we have the best flex so flex and anchor are somewhat of side of the same things but the flex does a little bit like more rotations and and position holding, like uh, they, they rotate positions a lot more than the anchor does. And that would go to Summons. Summons also, he does this a lot, and he's on Optic Gaming as well, winning a lot of championships. As you can see, there's kind of a pattern here, like being the best player and being on the best team. Um, Summons, what he does, what he's amazing at, is finding a lot of 1v1s for those heals and those positioning, like that position as well, as well as baiting uh, people into running into him, and he just have his teammates collapse on him as well. Like, usually, if you waste a smoke on summons, you're most likely going to die because he always knows how to coordinate his smoke correctly and use that to his advantage in his fights. Um, next, we have best secondaries. Best secondaries is going to have to go to Identives. Identives is by far the best uh, ball talk player in the game. This is actually what he's very, very known for, being very good with uh, secondary weapons. His ball talk is extremely annoying. He gets a lot of headshots across the map, downs, all that, you name it. Um... I believe he's also good with the Marksa as well, as most Latin American players are. I've only seen him pick it up like once or twice, but usually he does very good with it. Um, his, his, the reason he's getting second is literally because of instance and the ball talk. Because the ball talk gets spawned a lot more than any other secondary besides the hammer burst in the game. And that's usually a very huge factor when you have a good player. You have a player that's very well uh, skilled with that weapon. So next we have the most annoying. This is a, a thing on the category because being an annoying player is a very good attribute to being well at the game. Because um, for instance, the best player in this category would have to be Rushies. Rushman, Rushies, either one you want to call him. Uh, he's very good at staying up and making a lot of people uh, focus him while having his teammates collapse on him and get shots for him so he can instantly turn around and take that fight however he wants. And like getting out of these st sticky situations, he keeps his teammates alive a lot. Um, by not having, the, by not losing a lot of numbers, so he's able to instantly come back and be able to do a retake or something after losing an initial state, like, or just losing any type of team fight. You won't get wiped across the board. Uh, next, we have best power weapons going to Solars. Solars has always been very good with the uh, and dominant with uh, M Bar. I believe he's the best M Bar player in the game. Um, best movement going to Toy Soldier or me. You know, I'm out there. Uh, Toy, I didn't want to include myself in this, but I actually believe I have the best movement. If, but um, Toy, he's always been a very good player when it comes to movement. He has a very unique type of uh, way to maneuver around the map, wall bouncing, canceling, roadie running, all that. It's like very unique when you watch him do it. Because he also uses that to get out of fights, and also he uses it in fights as well to promote like a dominance um, when he's on offensive or a defensive type of fight, because it becomes harder to hit. The best Latin American player, in my opinion, which is the next one, is Desenai. Desenai plays for Ronin right now, and he is—he used to be uh, the second best right behind Adenos before Adenos moves to 
the Ghost team in California now. Uh, that uh, Desert Knight is now just the best player on Ronin, or you could say Chaos. Uh, it's kind of the debate between them two. Chaos is better than better with power weapons, but I think Desert Knight has a better shotgun than him. But I'm putting Desert Knight in that category because he's more so of a warrior and he like slays out more than uh, Chaos, in my opinion, as I've seen. Um, next, we have the most underrated player. The most underrated player, uh, in my opinion, has to go to Detox. My old teammate, he's always been a very good player. Like He's very slept on. He's actually amazing. Like That, that kid's actually a god. Um, in my opinion, I, pl I think he plays like, I think he plays like sort of like like me a little bit, but he plays with paddles and it's like more um, how can I say this? It's more like like fluent. It's more like uh, methodical. There you go. And uh, he just has a very good way of playing the, um, the game. Uh, what his shoddy skill is extremely good, and he's good at secondaries as well. Which is why I would say he's overrated. He's good with snipe, marks a uh, shoddy, all that. Um, next, we have the best hype man. Hype man is, comes in a, um, the factor when you, you need like you're down or you're up and you want to have you want to have a momentum boost or you want to like get out of a tough spot and have some more confidence in your team. And the best hype man, in my opinion, is Frank. Frank is also on rise and um, he does a lot for us. Being a hype man, like uh, if we're ever in like a deficit, like a, a bad vibe, which you usually aren't, he always pulls us out of it. I just you know simply getting hype. You know, encouraging teammates, all that is very good. Uh, the last person I have to list on here is the best upcoming player. That are, um, This is only in, like amateur, but it was a tie for me between Empowers and Enforce. If you don't know either one of these guys, they are th by far the best amateur players out there, in my opinion. Um, Empowers is very known. He subbed in for Optic. Uh, Force is like the same skill level as Powers. Um, in my opinion, I believe, like, actually, I, most people know that they're the same skill level. But, um, Force just isn't as known as Powers is, but they still, like, they rock with the same crew. Like, crew that's the same click. I played with Force back in UE. He's always been very talented. He, it's, um, the only thing that's holding him back is his age. And I think he's going to start traveling this, uh, season, season two. So, that's what see it, guys. I just wanted to tell you guys a few of my top players and my favorite players in this scene. And this is your boy, Vexies, and I will see you guys later. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe as I will be dropping <laughs> videos extremely recent now because I'm getting back on this content grind. As it's yeah, y'all. So, peace.